So as U.S. Attorney, we've been a vital partner of the NOLA for Life strategy since the beginning in 2012. Uh, one of the primary pillars of the initiative has been the multi-agency gang unit, and our office has been at the forefront of that effort uh, in many respects. Okay. And can you talk a little bit about how NOLA for Life has impacted your work? Well, the work of NOLA for Life trying to address uh, homicides, the decrease of homicides in our streets is been a strong and probably the most significant priority of our office here at the U.S. Attorney's Office. And uh, again, using enforcement, prosecuting individuals who are utilizing narcotics trafficking as a way of life, but also utilizing violence to enforce a lot of that narcotics trafficking and taking those individuals off the streets has been really the primary function of our office. And we've done that in partnership with, uh, with the, the DA's office uh, here in Orleans Parish. Mm -hmm. With that said, it hasn't been exclusively enforcement. Uh, we've also engaged with NOLA for Life on issues of prevention as well as reentry because the, re the reality is that utilizing one tool simply won't work. And do you think that NOLA for Life is a successful strategy? Oh, absolutely. Okay. It's not just a successful strategy, it is a groundbreaking strategy. Mm -hmm. Many times as I travel across this country and spend time in, in our nation's capital uh, as part of the Attorney General's Advisory Committee, people ask questions about what exactly are you doing in New Orleans? How are you bringing so many law enforcement agencies and so many organizations together under one umbrella to address this problem uh, in our communities? Okay. And can you talk a little bit about the kind of results you're seeing as a result of NOLA for Life? So again, to begin with the enforcement side, our office has, has prosecuted over 56 individuals representing seven different uh, street organizations here in the city, organizations that have been responsible for five, six, upwards of 18 homicides on the streets of our city and taking those individuals off of the streets for as long as possible. That's not just, that's not just punishing people. In many cases, what you're doing is you're helping to restore some peace and tranquility to those communities. And, and a lot of times, the people who have lived in those communities have lived under the threat of firearms, firearms trafficking, narcotics trafficking, violence for many years as a result of those individuals. Uh, that has been the primary focus of our work. With, Like I said though, it can't be just one tool in many cases focusing on issues of prevention. So the call-in initiative where we, we meet with individuals who are at the greatest likelihood of re-engaging in that type of criminality and offering them an alternative pathway in life that takes them off of the streets and brings them additional resources. That has been a, a very fulfilling part of our work here at the U.S. Attorney's Office as well. And then other initiatives like Midnight Basketball, engaging with the city on issues of reentry, uh, trying to reduce recidivism, and also uh, as a result trying to improve public safety uh, by really getting additional job training, job placement in the hands of individuals as they return back from prison into our communities. Again. It, it requires all hands on deck, all of those tools to really be engaged to help solve this problem.